Okay, guys, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, lack of expansion, lack of growth. Spirit, can you illuminate and enlighten us to why this is occurring? Okay, moving forward in poverty consciousness. So it's almost as if you're moving forward in this poverty consciousness as opposed to at, at the very highest kind of peak of your capacity there's so much potential almost getting more so on like a solo endeavor because to be moving forward you know outside of yourself essentially is is, is what's occurring when you're moving forward with this other person um so you may want to reevaluate your relationships you know to be quite honest and frank and blunt the six of cups in the reverse is a falling out of soulmate energy giving of the power away with the emperor in reverse unfinished business so more emphasis on maybe taking a step back maybe moving out if you're currently living with somebody i always advise to try to patch things up obviously but there's a certain amount of confidence that wants to be expressed here with the king of swords in the upright okay that may lead to more happiness more certitude that the king of swords wants to 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 to, to see with you or or be expressed through you Okay, any more with these reversals here? Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups, Emperor, and the World Card in Reverse came out in reverse. So, emphasis on expansion. Emphasis on soulmate. So, for emphasis on expansion, the Nine of Cups in the Upright came out. This is more emotional independence, being more self-reliant. Okay, it could be too much of a dependence on someone else that's kind of putting a... a, a a division or a chasm in the relationship. Okay, so more independence is going to be leading to your victory, taking on more of uh, you know what you can do for yourself to lighten the load on anybody else, for or vice versa. Um, Emperor in the reverse, leading to coming out of uh, public celebration and or divorce energy. Falling out of a twin flame soulmate energy, no longer being tuned in on the same frequency, leading to internal reflection, unfinished business with the world card here. Okay, these are all kind of going along the lines, and it's very interesting because it's like more kind of like clean cut, precise, clear communication of what can be done eventually leads to that Ten of Cups. Okay, that real true abundance of the Ten of Cups. Okay, very interesting because what was left here on this side is the three cups in the upright. So for some, you know, really putting off seeing things in a very precise and clear way as far as it could be chores, responsibilities, priorities in a relationship, someone needs to come down a little bit more to a more kind of sober, less fun, playful mindset. Um taking on a little bit more responsibility, which can then kind of bring about a more thorough, fun, happy, enjoying, enjoyment um, atmosphere, seeming. And, and you know what, that, that's totally fine because chances are if you're with a type A personality and they're used to doing way much more than needed, where it's just so extra, and they're gonna become resentment towards you. So when you take some load off of their plate, and I think naturally they'll feel like things are a little bit more balanced. But when they try to overdo things and then manipulate you to do more things, it's probably not going to work for you. Um, likewise, you know, Ten of Cups in the Upright Offset by Three of Cups, this is, you know, options. This is fantasy. This is really kind of looking at the ways in which you could embody this confidence in the relationship. Okay. How do I, you know, it's like a trust fund or entrusting some sort of confidence based on the distribution of labor. Now, believe it or not, that's really going to affect the relationship. Um, so actually, I'm, I'm getting an incoming call, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. As always, holler for more. Love you. Peace.